AI has wonderful impact. I took this from a report that was given by Stanford University. It provides you with a sort of an AI index. You can actually go to the website. And what I've done is to summarize some of the key takeaways. One thing is that right now, AI beats humans on some tasks, but not all. But when you actually come to what people term as artificial general intelligence or AGI, then AI will beat humans in almost all tasks. Will that happen? In fact, many people believe that it will happen soon, that AI will be able to beat. I can tell you more stories about that. But one thing I thought is useful, the industry now is the one driving AI research, not the universities. AI originate from the universities, now the industry are leading the way. To be frank, no university has the resources. No university can actually train a large language model. No university, even the strongest Stanford University, would not be able to afford training a large language model. You need the big companies to really train the large language models. The other thing is that country-wise, this is a geopolitical issue. AI is a sensitive technology. US is leading, China is close behind. And what happens to other countries? And uh, it is already obvious in the market, although now it has, the last week it has come down a bit, but AI has, is what has been driving the stock markets. All the tech stocks are driven up because of that positive enthusiasm about AI. One thing which I am very optimistic about is that AI is going to redefine how each of us do our research. That's why a lot of my faculty members are extremely enthusiastic about it. It's going to change the way that we do research. But one of my fear is that education has to play catch up. Education is always one step behind. And finally, I think that nowadays, I think people are very much aware of AI because you know you have ramifications of what we are going to do. And I hope I have actually given you, has given you some foods for thought, right, about AI and its relevance.